I like men's clothes a lot. So like a lot of mixing men's clothes with women's clothes. Cool. I like that. And I like boots a lot. Um, actually, my dad bought them for me just at a shoe store. Um, and yeah, I really like them. They're comfortable and they make me feel very competent. Um, but the entire sole has come off, so I have to be really careful when I wear them now because they're pretty slippery on the cobblestones. I need to get them resold. They were new. They were not this scuffed up when I got them. <laughs> and they're like, I wear them to work, so they're pretty dusty too. And your long commute. Yeah. How long are you, are you walking from the bus stop to the school? Only about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not far. Okay, well, I work for an educational nonprofit in San Miguel, and we work in rural communities with after school educational programming. Mm -hmm. And there's two communities um, one in Jalpa and one in La Palma. And basically the idea is that rural communities are just underserved in a lot of different ways. So the idea is to, I guess, give students supplemental education and access to different school, um, different tools and skills and opportunities they might not otherwise have. With the Secundaria class last semester I was teaching a choir. We learned some songs and performed them at a couple of events. Which songs? Um, we learned Imagine. <laughs> and Yo Soy Tu Amigo Fiel, which is You Got a Friend in Me, the Spanish version. Um, and one song, a Mexican folk song called La Llorona, which we sang for Day of the Dead. Um, and this semester we've been doing more music and media literacy kinds of things. So looking at music videos, reading lyrics, stuff like that. Um, I probably wouldn't wear this to work just because I get unfathomably dusty and <laughs> dirty every day. Um, the boots, yeah. But the shirt and the jeans, probably not because dark denim doesn't really go well with dust. Well, if I'm going to Halpa, I catch the bus up by Luciernaga, and it takes about an hour to get there. It's kind of a rickety bus ride. Um, Halpa is actually on the old highway to Querétaro, so it's pretty far, um, but it's a really beautiful drive, and it's, it's a beautiful place. Um, I don't know why, but this shirt makes me feel like a sexy archaeologist. I feel like it's something the female lead in an Indiana Jones movie would wear, so <laughs> I like it for that. Um, and I got it at a thrift store in Victoria, where I went to school, actually. And these are my favorite jeans. They're really comfortable, and they never stretch out, and they were recommended to me by my sister, who actually is very fashionable. So I trusted her advice. They're cheap Mondays. The boots, I don't know. I bought them in Leon, where there's just a whole bunch of leather. It was like a market kind of place, like just leather everywhere. And I actually was accidentally there on Buen Fin, like the, the sales weekend in Mexico. So they were incredibly cheap and I was really happy. I like leather a lot. Okay, so I found this shirt on my boyfriend's floor. This room is really messy. So I took it, or I asked him for it, um, but it didn't really fit him well. Uh, I got this skirt a long time ago, like maybe five or six years ago, possibly from Urban Outfitters. And these shoes I just bought here at a little shoe store because my jeans had holes in them. I'm not sure yet, but I'm interested right now in Aboriginal law original rights law because it's kind of a it's a big topic in BC in my province and um, also I've been working for legal aid which is like a an organization that provides legal advice and advocacy to people who wouldn't otherwise be able to afford it um, for the past three summers and I work on part of that job is that I work on a circuit court that goes to um, remote mainly Aboriginal communities and I just feel like it's a, 
it's an area where there's a lot of need for access to justice, and that's really what I'm most interested in. Um, I actually got this dress at a store here on Recreo, and yeah, they were having a sale. I liked it. I like, um, fringe. Um, actually, I bought these as pants for a Wayne's World costume. Manships. Yeah, and, um, I was Wayne and my sister was Garth, and it was when I was hosting a very large backyard bocce tournament. Um, and once we won our first game, we'd had a few too many drinks and we cut off our pants in celebration. And they became these shorts. <laughs> um, I actually just bought these on Sunday at the Mercado de Artesanías. I went there to buy some, like, going home presents for my family and stuff like that, and I found them. I like them a lot. I like earrings. It's been really fun actually. I sing at a couple of bars here in San Miguel. Um, one of them is Las Cuatro Milpas, and it's a really small, cute cantina. And I sing, and my boyfriend plays guitar, and we get free mezcal, so it's a great deal. It's a lot of different stuff. Um, we both really like Fleetwood Mac, so we've got a lot of Fleetwood songs. And then I would say it's about 60% English and 40% Spanish, but a lot of kind of rock, folk, or pop songs. Then we also have a lot of like traditional Mexican music as well that we just kind of started putting together. So it's really a mix. My backpack and I don't think I can dig around in there. Sure. Yeah, it's not here unfortunately. It's okay. And it is kind of falling apart now. <laughs> Through the wash too many times. It's a well loved Ramon's shirt. Yeah, it is. <laughs>